Well, some very sad news to report here. Beloved Georgia megachurch pastor Michael Catt, we have learned, has entered into hospice care, according to an update posted by his family on Pastor Cat's Twitter page. We will dive in and discuss here in just a second. First, guys, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit that like button for me. Very important also, please share the video, guys. Help us get around those algorithms. Hit the bell, subscribe, and I wear the glasses because I'm blind. So the news coming out here that Pastor Michael Cat has entered into hospice care. Very sad news. His family uh, making a post on Michael's own Twitter account. This came on Wednesday, May 24th. And for those that don't know, uh, Michael had been battling a prostate cancer for the past five years. And the family had shared this uh, in the Twitter update and said that, you know, uh, despite that, uh, everything that he had been going through for the past five years, he actually had, you know, suffered, you know, very little pain, uh, very little discomfort, despite uh, the different surgeries that he had to go through and, you know, all of the chemo and all the treatment. But uh, recently, they started to find some more complications. And, well, uh, this has led now to uh, Michael going into uh, hospice care. However, it was actually not due to the cancer. Uh, we have learned now that apparently doctors have found a, a tumor on his brain stem uh, and they actually recommend not uh, performing surgery on it just based off everything that Michael has already been going through. Um, they just didn't see the surgery as being an option for them. So uh, they said that the best thing that they could do for him right now would be to make him comfortable and, you know, do everything in their in their power, you know, this side of heaven to make him as comfortable as possible before uh, he goes home to be with Jesus. And so uh, the family has asked for a lot of prayer at this time for uh, Michael's wife and, and entire family, uh, that God would just bring them peace at this time. They said that uh, Michael can't really speak very well uh, right now just because of all of the treatments that he's gone through. Uh, his voice is not that strong. Uh, but, you know, Here's some facts that you may not know uh, about uh, Pastor Michael Catt. You know, uh, longtime pastor of Sherwood Baptist Church located in Albany, Georgia. He started all the way back in 1989 before uh, he stepped down to retire in April of 2021. And it's important to note, too, that, you know, you look at that date. You know, this is somebody who was preaching despite the fact that he had been going through the prostate cancer. Remember the past five years, and he didn't retire until, you know, a little, about two years ago now. So, you know, three years of that was him still preaching while he was going through all of the treatment. So that's uh, amazing that he was still doing that. But in addition to being the longtime pastor of Sherwood, uh, he is also, you know, an author of many books, but also Sherwood Pictures, which is actually a, a company that has put out, you know, some Christian films that you may recognize, uh, movies like Fireproof, Courageous, Facing the Giants. Pastor Michael Catt served as executive producer for all three of those movies. So, so again, he's really you know done some amazing things for the kingdom of God. In addition to just being a pastor, but again, executive producer of you know uh, these faith films and and also the books that he's put out, and then of course leading so many to Christ throughout the years. You know, I saw a thing here that said that Pastor Michael Catt had over 2,000 sermons uh, under his belt in the time that he spent preaching at the church. Uh, that's pretty amazing. Uh, he is loved by many, and, you know, the family is encouraged that, you know, um, you know, it's only a matter of time before he is with Jesus. But they know, and they have the faith to know that they will be reunited with him again. This is something that they also said in the statement, is that, when we all go to heaven, there is no more pain. There is no more suffering. Uh, there is only joy uh, and eternal life. And that's something that all of us can hold on to here, no matter what it is that we're going through, no matter if we've had friends, family members uh, who have gone home to be with the Lord, we will see them again in eternity. Uh, again, be in prayer for the entire family and also uh, Pastor Michael for God's comfort and peace. Uh, for what is a difficult time right now. Uh, I'll put more information on this for you guys in the description. I welcome anybody, you know, if you are somebody who 
who knows Pastor Michael or if you attended Sherwood Baptist and you would like to chime in on this, I'd, I'd love to hear from you as well. Um, what I want to do right now, though, it's something I do on all these videos, and that's end this video on hope. This is part of my ministry outreach. I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines, keep you guys up to speed and everything going on. Uh, and I do it because we're in the last days and Christ is coming soon. You know, you want to make sure that whenever you leave this world, however you do, that you are in the arms of Christ when it happens. And so for anybody watching right now, if you've never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to give you the opportunity to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world as he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. That means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back into your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord and you ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. And the Bible says that he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. And trust me when I tell you that there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, I will have some more information on this for you guys in the description. I welcome your thoughts. Prayers again going out to the entire Cat family that God would just be with you all, bring you peace and comfort at this time. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.